Welcome to the channel, folks. So today we're going to go over the Honeywell T5 touchscreen programmable thermostat. Now, I have another set of videos covering the T4 uh, non-touchscreen, which is this one here. This is a hard button at the bottom style thermostat. Very similar to this one here, but this one here is completely touchscreen. So as you see, there's no buttons. This is going to be part one. I'm going to make two parts to this series for the T5. Uh, part one is going to cover manual override, factory reset, and advanced setup options, and device setup. Those are the most common questions I get when making these thermostat videos. And then part two of this T5 thermostat series is going to be advanced programming and basically following a schedule all week long for each day, depending on how you want to set it up. So it's going to be very important for you to watch both part one and part two of this to really fully understand this thermostat. It's a little more complicated uh, than others, uh, especially non-programmable type, um, you know, manual style thermostats. So pay attention. That way you can fully understand how to use this and that way you can work to your advantage. So let's get into part one and that's going to be, let's start with uh, the factory reset because that might be important to you. Uh, if, if you want to reset it, if you have this thing, either you bought it brand new or you bought it used off of eBay, uh, you're going to want to do a factory reset to get rid of all the old settings. So let's go ahead and jump right in. As you can see, it's default state. It's going to show the current temperature of the room, which is 69. And it's also going to state the humidity, which is 35%. Also at the top, you're going to see the time. When you first get this, very important, you want to set the time up and date. That way you have that out of the way and all set. Otherwise, you won't be able to use this thermostat properly without the, the proper time setting and date. All right, so let's get into part one. And let me first show you guys the factory reset. Uh, but before that, I want to show you uh, what's on the screen here and what it, what it kind of entails. So right now we're in the off mode. So we want to go ahead. There's three different selections here in the bottom mode, menu and fan. So let's first explain mode, which is very simple. You either have off like you just saw it, or then when you click it, you go into heat and then you go into cool and then back into off. That's very simple. So let's go leave that into heat for right now. Then you have menu that takes you through the menu. We'll come back to that. And then fan. Fan is a very simple. So in this, you have three different options. You have auto, on, and circulation or circulate. Now, auto is what you want all the time when you're running your heating and cooling. It will automatically turn on the fan. That's the setting you want. But the other two, on means constantly on regardless of the heating and cooling cycle. So if you want to circulate the house, uh, the air through the house, you go ahead and you want to turn that on permanently, basically. It will stay on night and day until you come here and turn it off or back to auto. And then the next selection is circulate or circulation. Now that's going to basically, according to the manual, circulate the air randomly 33% uh, of the time. That's how it's explained in the manual. Let's go ahead now to the menu. Click on menu. You're going to see different things here. You're going to see schedule, screen lock, response, clock, date, clean screen, temp scale, changeover, reset. So that's one of the ways to factory reset. And it, it's basically going to do a schedule reset only. So if that's what you want, you can reset your schedule right here. You hit select and go from there. That will reset your schedule. We're going to come back to this. So let's go back and show you another way to factory reset. And now that's going to be by holding down the same button menu for more than five seconds. All right, so that didn't work. Let's uh, use my finger, hold it down for five seconds. Okay, so now that's going to take you to device setup. Let's scroll over to reset. And then it's going to ask you for factory 
or schedule, just like it did in the, in the previous menu. So it's up to you. Do you want to do a factory reset or just set your schedule uh, back to the factory reset? So you would hit select and then it would save that setting. So let's just go, uh, let's just do one for, for shits and giggles here. Let's do schedule. Are you sure? Yes. Resetting. And there you go. That is a factory reset. And if we did factory, it would completely uh, wipe the, the slate clean of all settings and parameters, and you can start all over again. All right, so that there is the factory reset, two different ways. It's up to you which one you wanna use. Now let's go on to the advanced setup options and device setup. So as you saw through the menu there, there's all sorts of different options. Let's go back into that first uh, quick menu. So that's basically one button push of the menu button. It takes you into schedule. If you hit select there, you can go ahead and set your schedule, but that's gonna be for part two. We're not gonna go into that. But if you wanted to operate this as a non-programmable thermostat, you go ahead and hit schedule on off here, and it says schedule off. So when you go back to the main menu, it's not gonna give you a um, some kind of schedule to follow. It's just gonna be a very basic setup here. It's basically gonna operate like a manual thermostat. and it's not gonna allow you to run a schedule. So let's go back into that. Schedule on, I'm gonna leave it on just to, for the sake of the video. Back to the main menu, we have schedule. Like, like I said, screen lock. You can actually go ahead and lock your screen with a password or a pin number. Response, that is the smart response. Now that's explained as the thermostat will learn your patterns and if you say you want the heating to come on at seven o'clock a.m it's actually going to start at like six and then work its way up to seven that way at seven it's the set point that you set in the thermostat so i usually turn that off i don't i don't find that um, necessary i will usually like um figure out what i need it to be at what time but that's a good feature it'll basically preset pre-start your um your furnace or your air conditioning according to uh, the schedule. So it's either on or off. I'm gonna leave it off. Done. And it's gonna save. Then you have clock. That's uh, self-explanatory. Go ahead and set your time. Clock format, daylight savings time. Then you have your date, self-explanatory. Set your date, very important clean screen. This has a setting where you can uh, lock the screen basically and it allows you to clean your screen. As you can see, it locks it for like 30 seconds. Now you can go ahead and do what you need to do, clean your screen. Okay, let's go back into the menu. Clean screen, temperature scale, it's self-explanatory, Fahrenheit or Celsius. changeover now this is b your changeover when it comes to heating and cooling do you want it to do it automatically for you or do you want it to be manual auto or manual are your choices i'm going to leave it on manual and there is your your quick reset for the schedule like we spoke about earlier then you have equipment status you can check your your heating and your cooling and your fan as well. Device info. When you hit select, it's gonna give you the model number, date code, serial number, firmware number, and it's all gonna come up on the screen. Model number, all the things you need if you're not sure of what you have. And I believe that is the last um, thing on that on that menu yeah pretty much that's the last one there device info is the last thing now let's go ahead and show you the hidden like more advanced menu where you have the the actual setup options which is very important to do initially when you install this thermostat so that you have to press down the menu button and hold it for more than five seconds 
All right, as you see it there, we have device setup, screen lock, system test, reset, range stop for heat. You can set it to a maximum. Range stop for cooling, you can set it to a minimum of what you want it to, to be at, at a complete minimum. Device setup. Okay, back to the, the beginning here. So let's look at device setup, which is where you're going to want the most important. Let's hit select. Now this first one here, see as you can see the number at the, at the very top. Now, if you have the manual, it will give you a list of different numbers here. System setup options. And it gives you a description of what it is. My other video goes over this in depth. I have this other list, which is an expanded list from Honeywell. It's called the Advanced Setup Options ISU. Now, this list here has more than the manual that came with this thermostat, which is the RTH 8500 series. I would take a look at my other video. I'll link it in the, um, the cards up, up above, because this here gives a full description of every single subcategory and category of number here that you might want to check check out so that's imp important information but it is spelled out here on the screen i'll go over them quickly in this video so we have the schedule type which is 120 that's going to dictate whether you want each day no schedule monday through sunday being the same monday friday saturday sunday being two different categories. And then Saturday and Sunday having each individual schedules. So it's a different type of configuration depending on how you want each day scheduled. Uh, but you won't have to worry about that if you want to operate it in the manual way. Then you have Fahrenheit, which is one, 125, the temperature scale. Boiler system, which is 200. Hot water. Cooling stages, 220, 221 heat stages. Then 300 is your auto changeover. Then 365. Then 425 is a smart response. Minimum cooling temperature is 430. 431 is maximum heat temperature. Air, air filter reminder. 702 idle brightness of the screen that's 1401 12 hour clock 1410 and then 1415 is daylight savings finished setup so like i said check out my other video because i name these off all individually this is the information you're going to need when you first set up your your system I go in depth with my, in my other video for the T4. So that's the video series uh, just before this one. So check that out if you're interested in to know what each one of those numbers mean, or if you might find a number that's not on your thermostat, so that's not on the, um, the list. That advanced um, list here will have it all. This is the most comprehensive one that I found. So check out the T4 video if you wanna check out the ISU numbers. So let's go back and um, and save that. Let's go back to the main menu here. Screen lock, system test, heat test. If you want to do that, fan test. And that's a, that's it for the uh, the setup menu. Uh, it's going to be very important for you to take care of that uh, before you start. But now let's get into the manual override. Now, there's two ways to manual override this thermostat. You can go first into the menu here, where it says Schedule. Hit Select, and you can hit Schedule On Off. Schedule Off. So when you go back to the main screen, it's going to operate as a non-programmable thermostat now, as if it had, say, two buttons. 
or three buttons. So very simple. You have 67, which is the current temperature. Say we want to go up to 70. We're going to click that up to 70 using the plus and minus buttons. And it's going to stay at a set point of 70. Now your heating system is going to turn on and you should slowly see this bigger number here uh, in the next few hours turn closer to 70 and hit 70 or maybe above 70, depending on um, how good your heat works. So that's a very, very simple way to make this thing a, a non-programmable manual style thermostat. And you're manually overriding it permanently. This is going to stay at the set point of 70 until you come and change it. Now, the other way to manually override this is let's go back and undo what we just did. Back to schedule. Turn the schedule on. So as if it were running a schedule fully programmed as a programmable thermostat. Now, as you can see, it added some things on the screen. You see following schedule up here on the, the top left. And then you see all this here, the periods of the day, which is wake, away, home, and sleep. So that right there is going to show you that it's following a schedule. And now if you want to manually override this, all you have to do is, like I, like I did before, go ahead and click to the set point of 70. Now something pops up here and it shows hold until a certain, a certain time. So you can go in there and type in what time you want it to hold until. Or you have another option here on the left, which is permanent hold. That there is going to permanently hold that set point until you come and change it once again. So indefinitely, it's going to hold that 70 degree set point. Now, if you wanted to resume and go back to the schedule, all you have to do is click back on that permanent hold or either one hold until. And then at the bottom here, it says run schedule. Now it's back to normal. It's going to be following a schedule and that's going to be indicated here on the top left. Now that there is the simplest way of manually overriding this thermostat. Like I said, there's two different ways. You can have it operating as a programmable thermostat and just want to change the temperature just for a little bit and raise that temperature. Say up until nine o'clock, you go ahead and type that nine o'clock in there and you're good to go. And then it will continue back to the normal schedule after nine o'clock. It does allow for some flexibility and that's why it's, it's set up like this. I really like this thermostat, the touch screen, it's really bright. You know, I might change out my thermostats and uh, put a, a few of these around the house. I have a lot of thermostats in the home. I have a big home. So it's really good to have that zone heating and that control. All right, so that there is part one. I went over factory reset, manual override, and advanced setup options. Those are the most common questions I get. But please go ahead and watch part two. That's going to be covering the full programming of this thermostat and show you how to use it to its full capability. All right, so that's going to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.